Hello, hello, everybody. TikTok and Tech here. I want to first have a few announcements before we get started. We do have some incredible moderators behind the screen that will take all of your questions and we will answer them at the end. So Paula, Sarah, and Liz, we greatly appreciate you. Um, TikTok here, and then we've got Tech. Today we want to talk to you about a few things, but Tech, go ahead and tell us what is Issue Track. Hey, thanks, Michelle. Hey, Issue Track is we're a ticketing system, if you will. So we, we work with all different types of customers, large, small, public sector, private sectors, schools, universities. And inside those customers, we'll work with one or more departments and help them track what's important to them, what's costing them pain, what's costing them money. This afternoon, for us, We've been asked to do a day in the life, show how some of our customers are using issue track in a medical uh, environment to track complaints. Well, this is great because I want to tell you a story about my memo, okay? So bear with me, guys. So my memo is 90 years old. And recently, I mean, we are from a small town in Kentucky, so there's that. Uh, but she was at the doctor and they actually closed up the entire doctor's office with my memo in the doctor's office. So of course, me being very overprotective, she's 90, she's my everything. I would like to figure out how I could file a complaint or make it known that I don't ever want to leave my memo in the doctor's office with all the lights off and her locked in. So how could you help me with that? Hey, Michelle, sorry about granny. That's, that's really sad. Um, hey, so when we're talking about complaint tracking, we got to take a step back and we need to understand for, for the business to track their complaints, they need to understand what channels those complaints are coming in on. Maybe it's a social media. Maybe they're putting a web form, like think of a contact us form on their website so somebody could fill that out. Or maybe they have a centralized email address like you know, patient care at your, your, your hospital.com, something like that. Uh, so we're gonna pick up the, those submission channels and then we're going to go, you know, capture the 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 complaint that's coming in. So, um, well, this way they have no channels, right? So they had no email, they had no form, they didn't even have a paper form. So, for those that don't have anything, is there a way that I could have probably submitted a form without logging in or having to go up to their front desk? Oh, absolutely. Well, let's let's go back to to you and you and Granny. So the next day, you went back there to the doctor's office, and you stood at the front desk. And that front desk person is saying, "Wow, I got this crazy lady here. She's unloading on me on this complaint about her Granny last night." So you know it. <laughs> what we would do is work with that healthcare concern and get a system in place. So I'm showing you one of my demonstration sites. I keep this one set up for complaint tracking all the time. Mm -hmm. um, let's log in. So Claire is my front desk person. She's working at this healthcare concern. And most likely we'd skip this whole login page. We'd enable some type of single sign on. Gotcha. But okay. These people on the front line, they're multitasking. They have all these applications they're using. They have to have been trained on. And so what I want to do for these people is I call it making it caveman simple. So they're going to click through. It's going to take them right to a complaint submit page. So here's, here's my message I put on there for it. And the instructions are begin by selecting a com complaint template. They're going to go to the drop down, and I have a healthcare complaint. So we grab it from the list. Maybe they're complaining about the billing. In your case, Michelle, we would have one that said locked in granny overnight in the medical office. It's going to load a form with your data points, whatever information you want to capture. So Betty White's my patient. Let's pull in some account numbers. I could link this back to their EMR record. And 
let's see, I got the crazy lady here. She's standing at my front desk complaining, and we got your phone number. I could put and now really email. quick, for any of you guys that are tuned in and watching this, if you guys have ever had any stories like this, or if your memo has been locked in a doctor's office, please share this out because we want people to know that there are ways to take care of these forms or take care of these complaints um, instead of pen and paper or unfortunately having me come to your front desk. <laughs> great, great point, Michelle. So the, the whole purpose of a complaint tracking system is really two things. We wanna pr provide high quality customer service and get this resolved, not letting it fall through the cracks, being responsive. We also want to collect the data. So this is expensive data that we're generating. We're upsetting our customer base. We need to learn from those mistakes, do data mining, run analytics, make sure we're improving. So, Well, quick question on that, sorry to interrupt. Um, I know that we're talking about patients, but what about if they don't have a process at all, but they internally have some issues? Could their staff submit issues as well? Oh, ab absolutely, Michelle. So what we, and I started this, issue track will track whatever's important to you. So it's not just necessarily complaints. Once you have this system, we have these free empowered free users. So we can literally create a user account for every employee at the business. And we can use, they can use this to, hey, we got a maintenance issue. I got this piece of equipment that the calibration's expired on, or it needs a repair, or I have a maintenance issue over here. We got some, uh, something that needs to be done and cleaned or corrected. So Gosh. absolutely. Perfect. So um, I know that you were talking about actually submitting the the issue for me. I appreciate that. It's a lot better than going to the front desk. Um, will I be notified or who, who would be notified so that I know that they actually listened to how angry I was? Well, the, the simple answer, Michelle, is we're going to notify all the stakeholders that the crazy lady at the front desk is reporting a complaint that granny was locked in the office after hours. Who the stakeholders are, the business gets to decide. Okay. They may just send this over to the, the patient advocate or an, or an OBUDS person who handles complaints. Likewise, you have a role in this. You're the person reporting the complaint. They can use this system to send you updates I have a lot of customers doing that. They would send you an email advising you what's going on in the complaint resolution, or they could give you updates via other means, maybe phone calls, e direct emails from their personal work email or snail mail, and then use this complaint tracking system to document those updates that they're pushing to you. So it's, the answer is it's all in the way the business wants this set up. They set it up. Okay. And I think you touched on this, but um, I just kind of want to bring a little bit more awareness to it. Um, because everything is electronic now, there is a way that this will link and stay in her file, correct? Absolutely. So you'll see history links a lot throughout the application. We would certainly link this to the patient's EMR account. So when we're in the patient record, we could pull up uh, complaint history as well type of deal. Perfect. Now, what about, um, <laughs> you keep calling me the crazy lady. I think I want to say that I'm just protective. Um, but what about, you know, obviously they're in the office. Um, what if they're wanting to say like her granddaughter is a bit dramatic? Um, how are those notes? Are, can they put in a private note or will I know that they said something bad about me? <laughs> Hopefully, they're not going to tell you that they're, they're saying something bad about you. So like an EMR system, anybody with access to the patient's record or in our case to the complaint, anybody with access to it can add a note. And the note is just your running narrative of what you're doing to resolve this complaint. Some of our users will empower, will give them the ability to add a private note. Let me. Let me change view for a second. Let me log in as the person who's responsible for resolving this complaint. 
Okay. Let me just pull the complaint number up again. I would hope they're not talking about me, but you know, sometimes, you know. Well, <laughs> so I can navigate to the complaint and here, this is where I can add private notes or not. Okay. If we're using this complaint system to push updates to, to you, Michelle, about what we're doing to resolve the complaint, then we would want to have the ability to add private notes, which we would keep inside the company walls, you know. And we can just document that, add it to the case history. Everything is going to have a date and time stamp. You're going to know who added it. This is a nice segue to talk about compliance and a change log. So as business employees, in this case, the doctor's office, they're working to resolve this. Any changes to this complaint ticket are going to go into the change log. We're going to know who made the change and when, what values were changed, the old value and the new one. Okay, so that makes me think, um, while I was in there, you know, she took a she took a picture and she had me show it to the front desk. I mean, the lights were out, everything was locked, there was nobody there, um, which raises other concerns about confidentiality of patient records and stuff, not that my 90-year-old grandma was gonna go through it. Um, but was there would there be a way that I could upload those pictures so that they know like she literally was left alone? This is not just the crazy lady. Great, great question. So one of the benefits of using a complaint tracking system is all of the information related to this incident is in one central location. So without a system in place, you're doing this in emails, multiple mm -hmm. stakeholders. Everybody has a little different piece of the puzzle. Somebody will have the initial complaint. Somebody will have your photo granny took for us all the information, all the conversations, all the interviews, documentations, and including the photos would be in one central location. So it's just drop and drag. We can also pick those attachments up via email as well. So perfect. short answer is yes. And then I know you mentioned the history and that it will be, you know, on her file. So basically I wanna prevent this from ever happening again, right? Um, where or how many ways are there for them to go back and see this history? Because I want to make sure they know, don't do this again. <laughs> don't do this again. So the, and I said there, there's two reasons you use a complaint tracking system. One is to provide top quality customer service to resolve it. The other one is the lessons learned and, you know, not making the same mistake twice. So you'll see the history link a lot throughout the application. We can click on that and it'll give us a pop over with the history from the element we came in on. So that's a quick and easy one. We also have reporting, whether it's our canned reporting or the customer's custom reporting that they create for them. And then we also have just searches. So click on it, literally, Every field on a complaint ticket is both a searchable and a reportable data element. So there, there's no, uh, the data goes into this database and I can never find it. That, that doesn't happen. Perfect. Okay. Now what about, say for instance, this is just, we're going to, hypothetically, this is a horrible doctor's office and they get lots of complaints. Um, and one of their goals is to really step up their customer service. Is there something that will show them like you have this many issues and you need to take care of them? Kind of like a log for it? Sure, absolutely. So there's there's two places uh, that are going to give us the these open complaints that we're tracking. So these are the open ones. The dashboard is going to be your visual representation of the open complaints you're tracking. So in, in mine, these are going to be the open, different types of open complaints I have. I got some healthcare ones, so I can click on, it'll take me into list mode. Here's my eight open healthcare complaints that I'm tracking. You'll have icons appear, 
over here, depending on what we have enabled and what's going on with this complaint ticket, the red one tells me we're out of compliance in terms of our time we've given ourselves to resolve it. The, the complaint hub is the same data presented in a list mode. This is a little lower down. The dashboards is gonna be great for your senior level, your C-level executives. Mm -hmm. The complaint hub, this is gonna be the worker bee people. So I come into the office, there are two open complaints that are assigned to me or teams that I'm a member of. I know exactly what I'm responsible for. We can also create our own views. So I created a view for, hey, here's the new healthcare complaints we have, and then another one just lists them all. So you can create 50 of these views, put in your data points that you want. So there's no lack of visibility on the, the open complaints that are costing you money. Okay, so let's take it one step further. Obviously I've complained, they go and they say that they're done. Do you have an additional tool that could then follow up and say, you know, how was your visit or, or what happened or anything like that so that I can kind of stick it to them one more time, like do not forget my grandma. <laughs> Note to self, don't piss off Michelle. So, <laughs> so yes, uh, we, we, we have a optional survey module, it's okay. similar to the other applications that are out there, a survey monkey or what have you. Our value added is we have the ability to send a custom survey out to the person making the complaint immediately when that complaint is closed. However, you, you take it to resolution, we're going to put automation in place. If it's a healthcare complaint, then send out this survey. Or if it's a complaint about the billing, then send a different survey out to them. They're going to get that as soon as that complaint is closed. It'll have an email, it'll have a link. Here I have a, a survey. So here's one of mine and one of my demonstration sites. So just a simple little two question survey. You can make them nice and pretty. Okay. Now, everything has changed since, you know, the pandemic. I feel like a lot of times um, complaints are getting even bigger. Google reviews and, and all of this is getting large. Have you seen, you know, a rise in the need for complaint management? Oh, certainly, certainly. Uh, we, we used to see it, in our healthcare customers and our financial customers. And those are big spectrums of industries. And I guess people like to complain about the, the two most important things to them, their health and their money. In, in the last two years, we've seen it blow up in terms of whether it's a fast food restaurant, whether it's a convenience store, we're seeing it now at the school level, people complaining. So there's no, Anybody that's interested in learning from their mistakes and has an interest in providing high quality customer service when they do make a mistake, they need a system like this. I 100% agree. Now, I guess, you know, you, you have multiple types of software. Um, is there any, for, for issue track specifically, is there any business that's too small or too large or can you really handle any company size? Yeah, the, the, the product scales, it scales very well. A lot of people, if they're, if they're reasonably diligent, they only need one person to handle the complaints. So a couple of different offices, they go to one person in the, in the back office and they're going to provide the kid glove customer service. It works just as well if you have a hundred plus locations. We just finished onboarding somebody, a, a customer that had about 150 locations, and they, they took their complaint tracking to the next level. So certainly if they had the crazy lady in the office, they would open a complaint ticket, but they had empowered every one of their employees. If there was something going on that was detrimental to the brand, they wanted that employee to open a complaint ticket and they went to the home office and then the mothership figured out if remediation or corrective action was was needed so it's it, it scales from uh mom and pops to large corporations 
Wow. Yeah, I was just about to ask about multiple locations and you you answered that for me without me asking. So for folks that are for watching or for those little little folks that um, need to implement something, but maybe they haven't figured out where to start or didn't know where to go, um, what would be the next steps for, you know, implementing something like issue track? Okay, well, Michelle, our, the, the implementation process, it, it's a partnership between issue track and the customer. So unlike a lot of, and it's not just issue tracking or help desk applications, unlike a lot of other SaaS applications, you're not having to go get a third party integrator to be your partner. We're doing that with you. You're going to come to the table, meaning the customer, with their operations people. How they operate today, how they want to operate six months and 18 months in the future. We're going to bring one of our implementation engineers. They are our product experts. And in a non-technical explanation, what we're going to do is we're going to get your data, put it in the right table of the database so you can leverage the functionality we built into it. And what about for the folks that are like myself? I am not a super tech person. I use it, I know how to use it, but I'm not in depth in coding and stuff like that. What does the support look like with issue track? Oh, great, great. Uh, good question. The most of our complaint tracking customers, they're not technical. Some of them are, but the vast majority of them, they're very good at their business, which is generally not tech. We have no problem with, with getting them on board, self-sufficient and all of that. But you do have three teams of people here at Issue Track. So you're going to have your account manager, also you know, known as your salesperson. They're gonna go through the due diligence with you to see if you're a good fit. We run a technical support team. That's where you call an 800 number, 25, 45 seconds later, you got a tier two tech on the phone. We're really big on our technical support. On issuetrack.com on our homepage, we publish our support stats. And I just, I, I just wanna know if I heard you correctly when you said 25 to 45 seconds later, I'll actually be on the phone with somebody. Correct, this is March, this is data that we generated during the month of February. This data came wow. right from our phone switch. So from the time the phone starts ringing, we averaged in February 27 seconds later, you had a tier two technician. We, wow. we drink our own product. We use issue track. When we close a customer support ticket, we're sending out that satisfaction survey. Mm -hmm. We ask them to rate our performance one to 10. This is it normalized to 100. Wow. So going back to your support questions, Michelle, you got your account manager, they're the customer advocate. We run our technical support team. After hours, they'll page the tech on call if you're down. Uh, then we also, you, you can always reach back out to your implementation engineer if you wanna revisit it, enable some different features that we skipped initially or if there's just retraining. Perfect. So I see that you have a QR code for get a demo. I'm assuming that if somebody wants more information, they could click that QR code and schedule a demo and talk with us and learn more about issue track and how it's going to work for them. Right. We have the QR code. We also, you can shoot us an email, sales at issuetrack.com. Perfect. So I think we wanted to give some time for questions. I don't know if anybody has any questions right now, but I, I love whenever you go through and show me the systems because I kid you not, the doctor's office did not have a process. They did not have anything. Um, I'm definitely going to work the angle of them getting something in place uh, because as of right now, they have nothing. Um, but does anybody have any questions? I don't believe so. So I think this was wonderful. I appreciate you going through everything with me and hopefully we'll come back in a month or so and we can show them something else. Look forward to it, Michelle. Thanks. Bye.